Hello everyone, once again this is G, and today I want to show you a couple of door pumps. And I know that door pumps is a beaten topic, but I think you'll find maybe a couple things new here, and improved perhaps. And let's just dive right into it. So first of all, over here, we have the four door version, and this doesn't use any timers whatsoever. It's got four doors, and it uses pressure plates to check if the doors are open or closed. So let's have a look at the automation over here. We're using the ribbon over here. And this helps us to really compactify this as much as possible. This little guy over here, this is a usage indicator. It checks the power power meter. So you can see here, it checks how much power the entire mechanism is using. The lowest bar here is 120 watts, 240, 360, 480, and so forth. Same thing over here. Anyways, back to the automation. So over here, we got four pressure plates and they basically check to see if the door is open. And if the door is open, it turns green. So let's have a look. Once the first door, the first door is uh, activated by this hydro sensor, as well as it needs to know that the last door is not open. So if the last door is open, it's going to be not by this not gate, and then it will be a red signal. And if the last door is closed, it will be not, and it will be a green signal. So the first door is going to wait until the last door is closed before it opens, but also if there's enough water. If there is enough water, this whole thing is not going to start. So if we set this at some high value, for instance, let's say 2000 kilos, you can see everything just stops. There's just not enough water to continue. So it would be a waste of power. And then if we set it to 100 kilos, it starts up again. So if you look here, once again, there are no timers whatsoever. What we have here is we have an end gate, couple knot gates. These guys over here are basically set to map these weight plates. You have bit number one, two, three, and four. And over here is a little bit different. Over here, this first one is actually four because it reads what happened to the last gate or what happened to the last door. Then we have one, two, and three. So basically the first door is controlled by the last door and it's hydro sensor. The second door is controlled by the first door, the third door is controlled by the second door, and the last door is controlled by the third door, and so forth. So the second door will only open once the first door has opened, but not until. And this keeps them all going in order, and there's no mishaps, like there's no deleted water here by accident. Like a door will simply not close unless the next door is open, and so forth. And over here we have a counter, and this is simply kind of a daisy chain counter over here and it checks the cycle so it checks when the last door closes so when the last door finally closes that means the cycle is complete for this pump and it increments this counter and so this basically checks the number of pumps if you will and this over here is a little nifty power meter so once again we've got a ribbon tape here and then we have this set to one two three and four and so forth and these are checking if it's above zero if it's above 120 and so forth and it pumps it into this pixel pack here. You have to have this obviously behind a transformer, otherwise you're gonna be reading off the mains and you don't want that. So yeah, over here we have a little bit of a different method. So we're not using, uh, or rather we are still using weight plates. This last one over here, this is purely cosmetic and it helps to see how this is moving along. So you can see it turns green then the green moves this way and so forth. But over here we're using a pulse generator which is made out of, there's several ways to make pulse generators, but in this case, we're making it out of memory toggle coupled with a filter gate. And the filter gate basically is uh, setting the uh, frequency of the pulses. So we have a continuously on uh, circuit over here coming in from the hydro sensor. It's always on and it's feeding into this memory toggle, which then feeds into this filter gate and the moment the filter gate expires, it's going to reset the memory toggle, but it will also send a pulse at the same time. And then the buffer gate over here is going to extend the pulse. So whatever the pulse is, it's going to extend it for an extra second. And that helps to, you know, keep it on long enough for the doors to open. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit too short. And again, we have the counter here. This checks the number of pulses. So once again, we have a daisy chain counter. And every time a pulse sends to open, 
this counter increments, which is kind of opposite of this one. This is when the cycle completes, it increments. This is when the cycle starts, but close enough. Over here, if you look at these ribbon riders, we have one and two. This one isn't doing anything. This, this pressure plate, it just sits there. Cosmetic. And then over here, we have one and two, but then over here we have three. And this three is actually fed off of this guy. So the first door is not activated by the last door at all in this case, unlike in this setup. In this setup here, the first door is activated by this pulse generator. Which, uh, and then once the first door opens, it then triggers the second door to open. And then once the second door is fully open, it trips the third door to open. And doors just don't open on, on timers. They only open when the previous door opens. Hope that makes sense. And over here we have a power reading again. So if you look at this, this is a little bit less power compared to this guy. But this one actually is uh, more powerful. It can pump more water per second compared to this other one here. That's one thing I noticed. So while we're on the topic of weight plates, I want to show you something. Check this out. We have a bunker door here. And it's checked by this weight plate to see whether it's open or closed. And if it's below 125 kilos, then it registers as open. And if it's above that, then it's closed. And over here we have a little bit of automation and we just got a couple of notifiers hooked up. That's just, you know, you can, you can connect whatever you want here. I just put notifiers. This one will just say the doors are fully open and this will say the doors are fully closed. So let's check this out. And as you can see, the doors are fully open. The doors are fully closed. They are only open or closed when the animation completes, but this helps to check. I hope you found this useful. That's all I have for you right now. And as always, this has been Greasy Hammer. And if you like this video, then smash that like button and subscribe to see more. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.